iPhone 5 versus iPhone 5S iOS 10.2.1, let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here from Everything Tech, helping to master your technology. And no, I didn't forget about you iPhone 5 and 5S fans. I do have the iPhone 5 here and 5S on iOS 10.2.1. Now I got the iPhone 7 Plus and I got the Galaxy S7, so I've been a little bit busy with those projects over there. And I kind of got sidetracked, but we were covering, before I got those, iOS 10.2.1 here for our iPhones. So in this video, we're gonna find out if the iPhone 5 decreased in performance versus the iPhone 5S. And you can check out my iOS 10.2 comparison to see if there's any differences with this comparison here. And we're gonna just see how they're performing in terms of the speed, as I'm gonna continue to update all of the iPhones that I have, the 6 is coming to the channel soon and show you how they perform in these latest updates. 10.3 is not yet out, but it's on its way soon. So I got the busted power action here on the iPhone 5, uh, hashtag buster iPhone 5 over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and boot these guys up at the same time as best as I can. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this in and then we're gonna hit the power button on the 5S. So three, two, let's go. And you see that the iPhone 5S did show its logo first, and I'm gonna pull that off there and see which one gets there first. Now, it's gonna take quite a bit of time here, so I might just pause this video and time lapse it, but you guys could go check out the iOS 10.2 video I did on this and compare it to this one to see if there was any decreases in performance. But do you have an iPhone 5? Do you have an iPhone 5S? Comment that down below and let us know what your experience has been like in terms of iOS 10.2.1. Have you updated yet? Are you not gonna update? Are you thinking about getting a new iPhone because these iPhones are getting too slow for you? Comment that down below in the comments section. So you can see the iPhone 5S is there first. And let's go into the settings on this device here, the iPhone 5S. And you know it's a 5S because there is no SE badge there and there is your know, space gray. You know, the iPhone 5 only came in that charcoal black. And there is the iPhone 5. So not bad on the boot up speed for a super old device and the iPhone 5 being about, what is it, like four or five years old now. So let's go into general here. Go to about device and you can see iOS 10.2.114D72 there for our iPhone 5S. If I come over here to the iPhone 5, it's a similar affair, iOS 10.2.1. So let's go to general here. Let's go to about device and you can see iOS 10.2.114D27. So the latest official versions. Let's get into this quick applications test to see how the iPhone 5S is faring against the iPhone 5 or vice versa, the iPhone 5, how it performs next to the 5S. Now I do have, how would you say, games loaded up on here. So if you guys wanna see the gaming test on 10.2.1 of these two, go ahead and comment that down below. I will be having a huge iPhone showdown coming soon to the channel. So you might wanna be sticking around for that. I'm gonna be comparing like six iPhones together. So subscribe for that if you're interested. Anyway, let's close everything out here. And let's just do a quick rundown between these two. So let's begin the calculator on both devices and let's go. And you can see very close there. It looks like the 5S a little bit ahead there. Let's come home. Very close going home there. Let's go into camera. And you could see iPhone 5S slightly ahead. Let's come home here. Let's go into the weather. Now the iPhone 5 is operating on a 32-bit CPU and the 5 actually won that one there. I don't know what's going on with the 5S. Let me go ahead and check the Wi-Fi on here to make sure it's connected to the proper Wi-Fi. Yeah, but 32-bit CPU here on the iPhone 5, and we have a 64-bit CPU here for the iPhone 5S. So I was not connected to my proper Wi-Fi there. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out weather on both in settings, and we're gonna do that test again. So let's go into weather here on both devices. And you can see now the 5 still beats it, so pretty crazy stuff there. Let's go home. And you can see they look about the same going home. Not bad performance overall for the latest version of iOS 10.2.1 here on the iPhone 5. Let's go into settings, and you can see about the same. Let's come home there. Let's go into clock, and you can see the 5S slightly ahead. Now these are both pretty much built on the same motherboard, so they're going to be similar in a lot of areas. Let's go into App Store here. And here's where I think the 5S is gonna take the lead once again. And it does not matter, it's seeming that in all of our update videos, that the 5S, no matter if you update, it doesn't really get slower, it's been staying pretty solid here. Let's go into the phone, 
and you could see the 5s ahead there let's go home let's go into the twitter application looks like looks like looks like both are dragging the iphone 5s wins that one and now the 5. So the 5S starts to lag behind when it comes into the third party applications. So stock applications still work fine there on the iPhone 5. Let's go on Instagram. And the iPhone 5, let's come home here. Let's go into YouTube. And let's see what happens here on the YouTubes. Let's go over to my videos over here. I'm not signed in on there. So let's just go to the home page of YouTube. And let's just try to play this video right here by Google. You can see the iPhone 5s ahead, but I mean, the iPhone 5, this is so crazy. This phone is under $100 and it's still usable. I mean, I would not recommend you go get it, but here in 2017, I did a should you buy an iPhone 5 in 2017. You can check that video out down below the description or up in a card right here, as well as the iPhone 5s also up in a card right here and down below in the description. Both are, you know, incredibly still usable here in 2017, especially the 5S. The, I wouldn't say the 5 is incredibly usable. It's definitely still functional though. I could still get stuff done and you know, most tasks for smartphones can still be done on the 5. It just would be a little bit uh, slow in comparison to the 5S. Let's go to eBay. See what's happening here on the Ebays. Looks like the iPhone 5S is ahead there. Let's come home. Let's go on Amazon on both devices. Looks like iPhone 5S. Yes, iPhone 5S ahead there. Let's go into Safari. So here is where the iPhone 5S starts to take the lead over the iPhone, you know, five. Uh, here's where the 5S starts to take the lead over the five. And that is in between the third party app. So you've even seen pulling up that keyboard there on Safari was a little bit slow there on the iPhone 5. Let's hit go here, yahoo.com. You can see iPhone 5S, pretty much a rocket there in that test right there. Coming home, let's go do another test. Let's go to hmm, let's go to YouTube again, youtube.com here. Let's just go on the browser YouTube though. YouTube.com here for the 5S, can't type anymore on the small screen. Let's hit it go. And you can see iPhone 5S and now the 5. So there's definitely a speed advantage if you wanna go the use route and pick up a second hand iPhone 5S or 5. But in terms of 10.2, if you guys were wondering, how the battery life has been. The battery life has actually been pretty decent on the 5S, a little bit weak there on the 5, but I haven't been having too many issues with battery life on the 5S in terms of iOS 10.2.1. Now the 5S is still not the best battery life phone on the market, but it still works fine. You know, it still will get you through a day if you're not a super heavy user. If you use your phone a lot though, the 5S is gonna be a half a day phone. Let's go into health here. And you've seen the 5S ahead here. So the 5S is definitely taking the win as we would expect in this video. But I just wanted to show you how they are comparing to each other and how pretty much the older boy, the iPhone 5, is performing on the iOS 10.2.1. Now the 5S is still an older boy, but I think millions of people still use the iPhone 5S. That's pretty much gonna wrap this video comparison up of the iPhone 5 versus the iPhone 5S on iOS 10.2.1 the latest yes both these old phones are still being updated do you guys have any video suggestions you want to see on the iphone 5 5s iphone 6 iphone 6s 7 plus let me know comment that down below we are updating iphones around here all the time as well as android phones when i get the nougat updates on the galaxy s7 and the note 5 i will be dropping those videos too so subscribe for that and uh, how has your experience been on the iPhone 5 or 5S on iOS 10.2? Please share that down below with the community. It helps everybody in discovering if they want to actually do this update. This was Nick here up in the Master of Technology. Be sure to be well and peace.